Pakistan, Israel, Egypt, North Korea, Iran. And those we are indeed working hard day in and day out uh, to try and secure their ratification by building uh, the framework uh, that will give the trust necessary for those countries to understand that the ratification of this treaty is part of their own national security as well as the international peace and security. This is what we're trying to do, and this is what we'll continue doing until uh, this treaty is into force. We've been working with U.S. experts from the Air Force Technical Center, people from the Department of Energy, people from the State Department, to create the framework uh, for pushing those conditions that led not to ratify the CTBT in 99 to overcome them. And uh, the one way to overcome them is to show that the treaty is verifiable. Peace and security. Uh, so the PTF Our system is there to detect any meaningful explosion that could be relevant for the, uh, the development of weapon of mass destruction. Uh, talking about those, it is today difficult, if not impossible, uh, to do a test that will go undetected. We're providing to our member state, indeed, all the necessary framework, technical framework, for them to be able to verify themselves that no nuclear test explosion goes undetected. National monitoring system. So, uh, no surprise. And I wouldn't go as far as saying that uh, we would not expect ratification from uh, any region or any country. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting in this chair because I think we have to, to have a dream, and our dream is to get this treaty into force. And our dream is part of the trust that we're putting in those countries to change their uh, their current setting to provide us the necessary means for uh, the entry into force of this treaty.